Good afternoon, everyone. Carol here from aquahaven747.com. In today's video, I'd like to share with you 15 tips or ways that you can organize your home to minimize cleaning time. Now, if you hate cleaning like I do, or even if you do like cleaning and you just want to have more time to do more fun things, then keep watching. I'll see you at the end. The first tip is to declutter. And I probably sound like a broken record here if you have listened to any of my previous videos. But the less stuff you have, the less stuff you have to move around, take care of, organize, whatever. And therefore, it'll end up taking less time to clean. The second tip is to give everything a home. So everything that comes in your door, make sure it belongs somewhere even if that somewhere is the trash. After you have given everything at home, you have to get in the habit of making sure that you put them away uh, when you're finished with them, or at least at the end of the day. Next, I would have a discard or donation box or bin handy uh, for when you do regular decluttering, or if you come across things that uh, you know you don't want anymore. So you can set them aside when the box is full. You can take it to uh, the thrift store or wherever it's going. In clothes storage like drawers or cabinets uh, keeps the clutter down and also keeps things uh, relatively dust free and therefore minimizing cleaning time. If you have any items that you would like to have on display, but you don't want to have to keep moving them to dust all the time, put them in a glass cabinet like this, or you know, a china cabinet or whatever, um, and then you will only have to clean it out maybe once a year. Establish a dishwashing routine. You may want to uh, make sure that the dishes uh, in the dishwasher goes on every night and gets emptied in the morning. If you've got things to wash by hand, or if you prefer to just wash the dishes by hand, you might want to stack them neatly up throughout the day and this just do one time in the evening. Or if you prefer, you could just uh, do it after every meal if you're home during the day. The important thing is that you do what works for you and your family and your schedule. Designate at least one day a week to do laundry. Or if you have a large family, you could do one or two loads every evening to stay on top of things. Wipe up messes right away so they don't dry on hard and end up taking extra time to scrub them off later. When picking out new furniture, pick things that have durable and easy to clean materials. For example, these dining room chairs um, or they're just a faux leather, but they are just so easy to wipe down. So I don't have to worry about my grandkids spilling anything on them. Minimize flat surfaces. By not having a coffee table here, I'm not tempted to pile a bunch of stuff up on it. I've got this little uh, table, which is very easy to move around. If I do need a little table to put um, a coffee or anything on, but uh, yes, the less flat surfaces you have, the better. I just thought I'd show you where one of my clutter hotspots is. Uh, because I have this nice flat surface here, things get put here all the time. And I try to, uh, you know, keep on top of it and not let things build up. But if I have things that need to go out to the shop or the garage or whatever, I'll put them here. If I'm coming in and I need a place to put things right away, they go here. But I try and move them off of this space and put them in their home as soon as possible. Doesn't always happen. Sometimes things stay here for a while. And that brings me to my next point, which is to keep your countertops as clear as possible. The only things you want to keep out are the things that you are using on a regular basis. Um, minimal decor maybe one or two pieces of decor but the rest be very functional that you're using all the time 
Put your spices and other ingredients away as soon as you finish using them. So as you're cooking, tidy up as you go. At the end of every day, go around your house for at least 5, 10, 15 minutes and pick anything up and finish putting them away in their homes. Then, when it is time for you to actually clean, like pick up that vacuum or broom or mop, it'll take you no time at all. And finally, for my last tip, for those big jobs that you don't have to do all the time, you know, cleaning out the fridge or the oven, um, deep cleaning a room or uh, steam cleaning a carpet, those type of things, spread them out throughout the year. Um, I mean, a fridge, you obviously you need to do that at least once a month, but uh, just try and slot them in, in a time that makes sense to you. And eventually they'll all get done You'll be able to stay on top of your regular cleaning and it won't take you any time at all. Well, I hope you got some good tips to uh, minimize your cleaning time here. And if you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, I would love to have you. And I'll see you in the next one.